okay, so how in the world did I ever get from this point to that point building this big doggone chipmunk cage? Okay, so we're going to learn about eastern chipmunks. Uh, chipmunks are quite different in different parts of the country. I found some really good articles on chipmunks in the UK uh, where they sell them and buy them and so on. Uh, as a child I always wanted to have a chipmunk as a pet and so uh, finally I got a chance to cross it off my bucket list. Uh, you'll have to check the laws in your state to see if it's legal to even have a chipmunk. But anyways, I uh, found a guy who was overrun with chipmunks while I was talking to him about it, we saw three or four in his yard come in and out of holes. The eastern chipmunks really have to live in a hole or you have to have a hole underneath the cage somehow uh, covered in so they can't get away but yet they can come out of the hole whenever they want to. Uh, it's, it's just a more humane way to keep them. They might survive in a cage if it's big enough but then you have to have a very large cage and uh, they don't get along with each other real well so they like to be into their selves. So um, I kind of got my hands full because I really didn't know what I was doing so I thought I'd share this with everybody. A, a dog cage, a kennel type cage and I lined it with a half inch mesh so the chipmunks couldn't get out and I have a door in the side so I can open it and close it and feed them and redo the water bottle whenever it needs it. But there's like eight of them in there and uh, so I have to get a bigger cage. Uh, the other thing I'm working on is some way where they can go ahead and go down into the dirt. So I'm digging a square four foot by six foot and I'm going to line it with metal. I got my hole dug. And it took a whole lot of dirt. That's all my trailer could hold. This dirt out here. I'm going to put my metal bottom in. Give it a little bit. Get the center. Good enough. Thank you very much. Okay. I've got my back panel on now. And I'm shoveling dirt on both sides to keep my metal nice and even. As you can see I have some old uh, gutter mesh that you put in your gutters and wherever I had big holes I just ran me a piece of gutter mesh along those seams make sure that uh, that my chipmunks weren't going to get out. It takes some getting used to though. Wild chipmunks they uh they aren't like tame chipmunks or hamsters or anything like that. They have to actually uh, do what they do naturally or they they won't do it at all. I'm having all right, moving right along. I got the top on. I got the sides on. And tomorrow I'll be working on the gate up here in the front today sun shining on me I've got my piece of wire going down to the dirt and I fastened it like that with some fender washers wherever the tin left a little hole where they could dig their way up through some of you uh, really don't care about the cage details so I just want to also add that uh, the foods that they really love are these blackberries that I picked. Uh, also millworms. I've never heard of millworms, so I got my chipmunks. But millworms, uh, they're kind of crunchy like a nut, so I guess that's why they like them so much. That's one of their favorite foods. And they also like these uh, dried banana chips. You don't have to get the organic or anything, but they, they were the cheapest ones I got. And uh, I give them a few of each every day, along with a self-feeder that I have, which is actually a, a cat feeder. I'll show you that next. Uh, it seems to work real well for the chipmunks. 
but they do use a bathroom in it uh, quite often for some reason. I guess they're getting cool in there or something, but they uh, have to have it cleaned out just about every day. So I got this plastic one, which they will uh, actually tear up by chewing on it and stuff, especially when it runs out of water. And then I have a metal one on the inside. This is my finished project. Uh, I have a latch right here. This is how I open it up. Just like you would with any gate. And I also have a little wire right here. And when I go on inside, I take that little wire, tie that ribbon on there so I could find a thing. Kind of blends in with everything else. I got that little wire, and that's going to hook on the inside when I go inside the cage. I don't know if you can see that, but I got the little hook hooked onto my gate, and I'm inside the big cage now. This is a cat feeder that my wife found online at Elite Deals. At Elite Deals, they had uh, this for $5. It feeds cats. You can see I got lots of sunflowers and seeds and stuff in there for them. It goes into this funnel and then goes down the pipe into that jug. And on the other side of the jug, I have a hole cut. And I've got it set to go off uh, three times a day. I'm going to move. Hey little guy, he's not going to move, he's afraid I'll see him if he moves. One of the bathroom and stuff. So I swap it out for the plastic one, and I'll probably get another one so I can swap it out for another metal one, because I know they're going to chew the plastic one up. Yep. See, he wants to go inside the cage where he'll be safe, but I'm over here and he's, he's scared to come this direction. Another one. She's coming out and get him a banana chip. I'm trying to take it in this hole, but it's too big to go in the hole. You're gonna run away with it. Oh, he took it down that hole right there. That's the first time I've seen him use that hole. That's cool. Oh, he's back. Maybe he's going to go down the other hole. Oh, there was already one in the hole and he chased him out of there. That's what happened. Oh, there came the other one out of the hole. Oh, 